Good morning and welcome to Father Kevin's Corner. Today I'm going to continue talking about St. Ignatius of Loyola on his journey to offer his spirituality and movement towards God to all people. St. Ignatius of Loyola, finding God in all things, he's trying to develop a way to see how he is filled with joy and how he removes himself from those things that leave him empty. He wants to offer some kind of a spirituality for the whole world, but he didn't start off with that desire. As he was journeying after his recovery from his legs uh, healing, he was journeying to a place called Montserrat. There was a Benedictine abbey halfway up the mountain in Montserrat, Spain, uh, that he went to and he wanted to go and present himself to the Blessed Mother, present himself to the abbot, make a general confession so that everything will be cleansed from his life so that he can work more totally at helping souls. He went to a place called Montserrat, which is a word that means a serrated mountain. So the mountain range looks like a serrated knife that we would use to cut bread. So it, it looks like that. That's where the name comes from, Montserrat. While he was there, he presented himself to the abbot of the monastery. And the abbot said, well, it sounds like what you're doing is good, but we can't let you stay here because we're not able to provide for pilgrims. So he walks down the mountain across the river Cardinaire and into a village called Manresa. While he's in Manresa, he uh, develops different ways of praying that helps bring him closer to God. While he's also there, he begs alms from people and he uses whatever he receives to help the poor and the hospitalized in the village. Three or four times within that year, he goes back to the mountain at Montserrat to present his ways of praying to the abbot asking for help, asking for clarity, asking for uh, criticism. And the abbot really helps him, and then he goes back and he prays some more. This is a long journey from Montserrat to Manresa. It's about a 25-mile drive if you were to drive it. So that's a long journey to go on a bum leg. And that's what he did regularly to test whether or not what he is offered and offering to other people will indeed help them to God. And so St. Ignatius comes up with this thing that, that we call the 30-day retreat, the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius. And if you were to pray them yourself, it would be for 30 days of silence, five prayer periods a day, and Mass every day for 30 days. What he does is it offers a movement, first of all, paying attention that God has provided all things and all things are good, created by God. Uh, and in the midst of all that goodness, sin still happens to exist because of our humanity, our pride, our selfishness. Not only does that sin exist, but it exists in our lives. It happens to us, and then we participate in sinning ourselves. And in, even in the midst of all of that, God still loves us. And when we come together to pray, when we come to understand that God's love for us in this way, we move forward into saying, well, okay, I want to spend time with God's love for us. So the second part of the retreat experience, the 30-day retreat, the second part is, is hanging out with God's love for us, hanging out with that Jesus who has given himself for our good. And after a while, we become aware that listening to Jesus and watching him heal and teach and learning from him, we can do that forever because it's kind of cool but it's not always easy. So the third part of the retreat is hanging out with Jesus at his suffering and his death. Can we hang out with him while he is dying? And the fourth part is through his resurrection. Not only does Jesus die, and that's not the end of the story as we know, but can we hang out with him and learn from him as he rises and offers us new life? So that's the movement of the spiritual exercises of of St. Ignatius of Loyola, and it's up to the retreatant to walk through and ask for the grace at every step of the way. Can we do that? And if we do that, we draw ourselves closer to God and closer to his love and his care. Now, there are notes that Ignatius writes with the retreat for the, re the retreat director, and one of the notes is what we call the 19th note. 
or the 19th annotation. And that suggests that not everybody can take 30 days away. So how can we, how can we offer this spirituality to people in the busyness of their lives? So the 19th annotation retreat is a retreat for people in their busyness of their life. Ignatius then spent a lot of his time and energy offering this retreat to so many other people. Have you had an opportunity to get away, to spend time in silence, to pray and grow closer to God's love? St. Ignatius' retreat experience might help you. It's helped me and it helped many people in the world. Take some time to get to know God's love for you and your love for God. May you be blessed.